The Further Teachings of Lao Tzu, 9. Lao Tzu said, those who attain the way are weak in ambition but strong at work. Their minds are open and their responses are fitting. Those weak in ambition are flexible and yielding, peaceful and quiet. They hide in non-acquisitiveness and pretend to be an excerpt, tranquil and uncontrived. When they act, they do not miss the timing. Therefore, nobility must be rooted in humility. Loftiness must be based in lowliness. Use the small to contain the great. Remain in the center to control the external. Behave flexibly, but be firm. And there is no power you cannot overcome. No enemy you cannot rise above. Respond to developments, assess the times, and no one can harm you. Those who would be firm must preserve it with flexibility. Those who would be strong must protect it with weakness. Accumulate flexibility and you will be firm. Accumulate weakness and you will be strong. Observe what they accumulate and you you will know who will survive and who will perish. Those who overcome the lesser by strength come to a standoff when they meet their equals. Those who overcome the greater by flexibility have power that cannot be measured. Therefore, when an army is strong, it perishes. When a tree is strong, it breaks. When leather is strong, it rips. The teeth are harder than the tongue, but they are the first to die. So flexibility and yielding are the administ administrators of life. Hardness and strength are the soldiers of, of death. To take the lead is the road to exhaustion. To act afterward is the source of success. Holding to the way in order to be a partner to evolution involves leading to regulate, fo leading to regulate following, and following to regulate leading. What is this? It means not losing the means of regulating people, which people themselves cannot control. Following means combining the elements, elements of events in such a way as to harmonize with the times. Changes in the times do not allow rest in the intervals. If you act in advance, that is going too far. If you act too late, you cannot catch up. As the days pass and the months go by, time does not dally with people. That is why sages do not value a huge gem as much as they value a little time. Time is hard to find and easy to lose. Therefore, sages carry out their business according to the time and accomplish works according to resources. They keep to the way of purity and are faithful to the discipline of the feminine. As they go along and respond to changes, they always follow and do not precede. Flexible and yielding, they are thereby calm. Peaceful and easygoing, they are thereby secure. Those who attack the great and overthrow the strong cannot contend with them.